Welcome to Let's Talk Sport and Sports Kila for this Champions League quarterfinal second leg preview of FC Porto versus Liverpool taking place on the Wednesday night. Of course, Liverpool mustered themselves a two goals to nil lead in this game in the first leg at Anfield last time out. And uh, it's going to be a very challenging test for Porto to try and find themselves back into this game. Of course, they played this game last season in the Champions League. Liverpool, at in Portugal, uh, managed to win that game by five goals to nil. Um, and then took a nil-nil draw at Anfield in the second leg and also boost their way through into the Champions League. Uh, but this time around, only a 2-0 deficit for Porto to deal with and also going to be playing at home. How big of a factor is that for Porto this time around? Because, you know, the flip way... You know, Liverpool got themselves off to a very strong start in Portugal and then took the result back to Anfield and got themselves done. Is it a different atmosphere now that Porto are bringing the tie back home in the second leg and, you know, with the home crowd behind them, they could potentially cause an upset here? Um, I think so. I think especially if Porto score within the first half, then that will get the crowd right up. But I think Liverpool will do a professional job, I think. I think if Liverpool score once... And support I need to score four, and I think I think once Liverpool score, I think that will be tie wrapped up and done, and then from then on, I think it'll be all, all all about resting players for that league game against Cardiff on the weekend. But but for Porto, they're in a really tight tight title race for with Benfica for the Portuguese league, and I think Porto got some good players. Like obviously they've got the veteran Casillas in goal, they've got the uh, the defender Militao, who I think is being, I think has already signed for Madrid. I think he's going there in the summer. Madrid, and obviously they've got a, a great young midfielder called Oliver Torres, who was on the books at Atletico, and then obviously they've got the the Bohemian. Oh, I forgot who the striker's called. Um, it, Mariga. Uh, yeah, Mariga, who probably should have scored at Anfield. To be honest, he had a couple of. Uh, half chances that he probably should, should have done better with but I think like with in the first leg Liverpool did sort of play a rotated team obviously Robertson was suspended so Jimmy Milner filled in at left back and De- Dejan Lovren made a rare appearance but I do I do imagine that I don't want Klopp to rotate too much thinking that this ties all already won because I just when Klopp tinkers a little bit it loses that I think Liverpool lose that um, energy and the press and stuff like that. So hopefully Klopp gets the job done and then start taking off your Mane's, your Salas and maybe rests for Binho or something like that as the game game gets on and if Liverpool would wrap, wrap this tie up. Yep, yeah, and certainly uh, it's going to be an interesting to decipher how Porto are going to start this game really. Are they going to start off going all for it to try and get the goals early on and then sit back and allow Liverpool to come at them or are they going to sit back and allow Liverpool to come at them early, potentially even tire and then break down their team later on and go for a potential kill? How do you think Porto should approach this game, Luke? I think Porto might go out all guns blazing, try, trying to get that first goal, unsettle Liverpool. Uh, I think they might try and rile up the crowd to make it a really hostile atmosphere for for the for, for the team, but I think Liverpool, with them playing them last season, I think they sort of know what to expect from the Porto Porto crowd. Uh, I think they'll know how to deal with the hostility that they're going to receive. And, and I think it could be, a, I don't want to say it will be a thrashing, but I think it will be a night, I think it will be a confident performance. I'd imagine Klopp might rotate a little bit. I think Wayne Alden or Milner might come back in for Naby Keita sort of sort of freshen up that midfield like he has done in the Champions League this season. Like he has tended to go with that Milner, Wine Alden, Henderson midfield, but I think he's I think he's moving away from it, which is a good thing because I think the team ha- has evolved from us using that midfield three. But I do expect some elements of rotation. I think we'll see probably Wine Alden more or Milner come in to probably replace um, Navi Keita will probably be the one to make way. Yeah, and certainly there's going to be some changes in the defence as well from the first leg. Robertson coming in from that suspension. I saw him miss the, the first leg at Anfield. Uh, potentially the likes of Matip getting a bit rested here for Dijan Lovren to come into defence. You know, it's not as a, a key game, as you said, uh, really in terms of securing 
a, uh, a clean sheet against Porto. It's more about picking up a result and getting that away goal um, in order to book their spot in the first in the, in the semi-finals of the Champions League um, with already behind them uh, a 2-0 victory uh, from the first leg. Um, and, you know, Wijnaldum could come into the squad too um, in order to keep things fresh in the midfield. Um, you know, Porto 2-0 down after the first leg, looking to climb this huge mountain to keep themselves in the Champions League. Liverpool, you know, high on confidence after uh, being very strong in the Premier League over the weekend against Chelsea. Of course, having that 2-0 victory against Chelsea at Anfield. Uh, how do you see this game going for Liverpool uh, and for Porto in this one? How do you think it's going to go? What's the, uh, what's the scoreline prediction? I do think Liverpool will win. Uh, I don't think Liverpool have kept the clean sheet away in the Champions League this year, which sort of sways my mind that thing. Liverpool might concede one, so I'll say 3-1 Liverpool. Yeah, I think that's a fair result as well. Um, I think Liverpool should be able to get things going. You know, especially now that Salah's firing once more. Beautiful strike against Chelsea. Absolutely thunderbolt. Um, but I think at the same time, Klopp might be a bit conservative um, with one eye on making sure that they keep on getting results in the Premier League too. So, so yes. I think once Liverpool get themselves a goal to the good in this game, I think we might start to see a bit more rotation. Mm. Um, potentially Salah being brought off for Shaqiri, yeah. something like that. Um, in order to keep the players fresh, uh, to make sure they keep on pushing on both fronts in both competitions. So I'm actually going to go for a 2-1 victory for Liverpool in this one, um, but the game's not going to be as tight as the scoreline suggests. I think Porto's goal might come late in the game, yeah. uh, but Liverpool should get the job done quite easily uh, mm -hmm. early on. 